Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Yami. So this one is a cat question in front of you. Again, a series of multiple concepts within a question. So you can expect this question in any of your aptitude examination. And this one is one of the question which came in the cat. So question is in front of you. I would suggest please pause the video and try to solve the question. I hope you have paused, you solved and you posted the answer in the comment box. Let's start with the question. So in this, we have a right angle triangle given by the chords. If you have a right angle triangle by the chords, we have nothing but chord perpendicular radius theorem or the relation. So before watching this concept, there is a video in the box. I would suggest please watch that video and go ahead. And that video is also in the description of this video. So you watch that video, ko dekho, then go ahead with this video. So what is the relation between the perpendicular chords? If we extend this line say the BC and we say this one is nothing but the E according to that perpendicular chord and the radius relation if say this one is X this one is Y this one is Z this one is W so we know X square plus Y square plus Z square plus W square the 4 of radius square this one is the perpendicular chord radius relationship within a circle so this one is the first concept i'm going to use if you have any doubt in this concept i would say please watch the video the link of that video concept video given in the description as well as in the box which is in front of you and the second relation is nothing but similarity the chord product when the two chords intersect at any point then we say the product of the chord of the both the sides is always constant so we are going to use the two concept in this one both are the important concept you can get individual questions on both these two concepts this question is nothing but the amalgamation or you can say the joint concept of these two concepts so first of all what is given ac ac is given nothing but 12 fine and what is given we have bc is 4 unit bc is nothing but 4 and the radius is nothing but 8 so now we have two equation and we just need to put the value of x and w and get the value of z or y so from the equation 1, we can say we have 4 square plus y square plus 12 square plus z square is 4 into 8 square that is 64 to 56. From here we can say y square plus z square is nothing but 96. Okay. From the equation 2, we have 4 into y, we have 4 into y is equal to 12 into z. And we are looking for the cd, it means we want z. So from here we can say y is nothing but 3z. So from second equation, we got y, put the values of y in the first equation. We have nothing but 3z square plus z square is 96. So we can say z square is nothing but 96 divided by 10 or we can say 48 divided by 5. So z is nothing but under root 48 divided by 5 or we can say 4 root 3 by 5. So the answer of this question is nothing but 4 root 3 by 5. So you have two concepts. One is the perpendicular chord radius relationship and the second one is nothing but the chord product property by the similarity. So this one is the both concepts within a question. That's why CAT is seems to be one of the best examination which use more than one concepts within a question. So I hope it is okay to you. If you have any doubt, I would say please rewind the video, note down all the concepts and give your best in your upcoming examination. God bless you. Happy learning and bye-bye.